Okay, guys, we have another trade here for the Boston Celtics. They have just picked up young guard Jaden Springer, the former Philadelphia 76er, the G League MVP, led his team to a G League championship as well, and is a high flyer, can really score the ball in spurts, um, but I think he's a versatile guard. I really do like this. I'm not just saying it because I'm a big-time Celtics fan, but I actually believe that Jaden Springer could be a very solid player in the NBA level. Now, we did get rid of Delano Banton. Now, don't get me wrong. I like Delano Banton. Had good size, good awareness, good, uh, you know, play style in terms of, you know, his playmaking ability as well as being lengthy and could play really good defense as well. But he just wasn't cutting it. You'd get minutes and he just wouldn't do anything with them. I think Jaden Springer being you know, 6'4", can shoot the ball, um, you know, relatively well. I think he can add something here to our team. But not only do I think he can, you know, maybe potentially down the line be a, a valuable player for us, I think this helps us right now in terms of the tax bill, right? I think it saves us some money there, but also keeps us with an open roster spot. Now, why that is so important is because there's going to be a bio market. There's plenty of talent out there, and there will be more talent that hits the free agent market. Joe Harris could be one as well. Maybe not. Don't love him defensively, but he definitely fits the bill when you talk about three-point shooting. But in this video, I want to talk a little bit about Jaden Springer and show you guys why maybe he could be a good fit here in Boston. I feel like, you know, the guard depth right now is, you know, you have Jalen, you or not Jalen, let's go Derek White, you, Derek White, Drew Holiday, Peyton Pritchard, J.D. Davidson. And then now Jaden Springer. So Jaden Springer is a guy who, you know, can shoot the three ball. Let me look at his G League stats. So in 2022-2023 this season, he is averaging 19 points a game. He is shooting roughly 31% from three, which is not really too good. However, he has shown, you know, the ability to score right? We know he can score. It's just he has to find the consistency. Now, another thing I like about Jane Springer is he picks and chooses his spots on the floor very well. Right here, a nice turnaround, fadeaway, mid-range. Uh, doesn't get it to go, but he can create his own shot. That's what I like to see. Here we go. Gets another opportunity at it. Now, I don't Listen, I like the trade for the Celtics. I don't think it's it's, it's going to change anything, right? I don't think it's a needle mover. I think it's a guy that we can bring in, maybe develop a little bit. He can score the ball, but I think this really plays a, a part in we're going to go after someone in the buyout market. I don't, I don't think there was anyone that Brad Stevens really, really, truly wanted, um, which which is why he freed up some money on the tax, right, and is giving us another opportunity to go out and bring in another guy. I think, um, you know, I do. I don't mind Jaden Springer at all. I think I think he could be a solid player. I think he uses handles well. I think um, you know he does some things well with the basketball. I think he needs to work on his consistency a little bit. But other than that, I don't mind the player. I don't mind the trade. Obviously, we're not giving up too much here for Jaden Springer, a former G League MVP. Obviously, I feel like the potential he has is absolutely insane. It's just um, I don't think it helps us now. So interesting move by Boston. Let me know what you guys think, by the way. Also, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, join the family, turn on post notifications so you guys are notified every time we go live for a game. We do live stream every single sales game. So if you guys want to watch those games with me, make sure you guys join the family. And also, comment down below a letter grade here for Jaden Springer. How do you feel about this move? Again, he does a very good job getting to his spots in the mid-range area. Can hit threes, not maybe not at a great level right now. Um, but I feel like Delano Banton just didn't do much, right? He didn't do too much. I like Delano Banton, but I feel like Jaden Springer could be more of a scorer, which is what we could use down the line, depending on if Peyton Pritchard really works out or not, right? So, um, you know, Jaden Springer, let, let's see. I, th I believe he is only like 9 or 21 years old. He's 21 years old, very, very young. Uh, has barely really, uh, played in the NBA yet. Has had some decent games, though. So we'll see how he develops, man. 6'4", 21 years old, averaging about 3.4 points per game. Um, you know, in his second season in the NBA, he averaged 40% uh, from three, but he barely took any three. So, I mean, small sample size, but I think the main thing to take away from this trade is we still have an open roster spot and look for the Celtics to go out and bring someone else in. Now, comment down below a couple of names that you would like to see in Boston. I feel like there, there are some good ones, right? Right here, we're going to get a screen here by McDaniels. Springer pump fakes that three. He's gonna step back, create that separation from that fake drive. And he's gonna get hopefully this three to go, right? Yeah, gets it to go. Nice little three there by Jane Springer. Let's see what else we have here in his uh in his arsenal. So he's gonna get a nice steal there. Okay, come on, Jane Springer. See what you got. 
Dude, I'm not gonna lie. When we played the 76ers, I believe maybe like a year or two ago, when he played us and he had a really good game. I don't know if you guys remember that, but I always remember thinking to myself, like that kid, that kid could be a really good player in the NBA. He kind of reminds me of um like one of those players, like not Bones Highland, but one of those guys who can has can score the ball, right? Um, oh, Jaden Hardy. Jaden Hardy of the uh, Dallas Mavericks. Hardy is a much better scorer, but I feel like he's one of those guys who can, you know, quickly turn into someone who can be a really good scorer at the NBA level. Again, just needs to find his consistency. Under, other than that, I feel like he's a, he's very raw, um, but he has good, good assets, right? He's, he's got a good game. You go drive in, draw some contact, throw up a floater over Clint Capella, gets it to go. I mean, see, I mean, I don't mind some of these plays, but let me know what you guys think, man. And also comment down below a name you think we could go and grab at the at the uh, at the bio market. I really do like Xavier Tillman though. I think that was a big ad, right? Behind Chris Stapps, behind Al Horford. And now you're looking at a rotation of, you know, off the bench, Peyton Pritchard, uh, Sam Hauser, Al Horford, and now Xavier Tillman. You have now you know eight nine guys who can really play at a high level and i think you can add one more at the uh at the bio market to really solidify what we're gonna do i'm glad we didn't make any other you know big trades i'm glad we didn't trade anyone else like a sam hauser or Payne pritchard because i feel like that would really affect the uh you know the way oh nice okay wait hold on let me see that one more time so we got a layup here by shake milton put put back dunk okay you know what i like it man high flyer I think there's a lot of work to do i think another thing that could be possible is jd davidson could be getting called up he could be playing a lot more man he could be or maybe jordan walsh who knows but i think delano banton leaving does open up a spot at the guard position for someone um who do you think it is jd davidson uh, is it Jaden springer i guess we'll find out soon let me know what you guys think hit the like button subscribe if you're new and uh yeah see you guys in the next one peace today's video is brought to you by underdog fantasy and if you love playing fantasy sports like football basketball baseball and so many other sports but also love being able to win money you're gonna want to stick around for this whole segment introducing underdog fantasy the ultimate platform for fantasy sports lovers do you want to experience the thrill of drafting your team and competing for huge prizes well, look no further. With Underdog Fantasy, you get access to a wide range of fantasy sports, including football, basketball, baseball, and so much more. But here's what makes Underdog Fantasy stand out from all of those other apps. They've got quick and user-friendly drafting process, a unique and exciting game formats, fair and competitive contests for all skill levels, and attractive bonuses and promotions. Not only can you draft teams and compete with others, but you can also play a game of higher and lower, which is personally my favorite thing to do on there, but you can potentially win 20 times the money you put down. And if you use code MADDYDUBS when you sign up, Underdog will match your first deposit up to $100. And what that means is basically when you deposit, let's say $100, they'll give you a free $100 to use and play with. Click the link in the description to get started or head to the website right now to start dominating the fantasy world and don't miss out on all the fun. Be a part of the underdog community starting now. And don't forget, if you use code MADDYDUBS, they'll match your first deposit up to $100. Let's get started. Get into drafts with me starting today.